Today's devotional from the book of Jonah is entitled, Throw Me Into the Sea. Let's read from Jonah 1, 11 to 12. The sea was getting rougher and rougher. So they asked him, what should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? Pick me up, throw me into the sea, he replied, and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault that this great storm has come upon you. In summary, to see this world come to peace in Christ, we must be prepared to suffer like Christ. Let me say that again. In summary, to see this world come to peace in Christ, we must be prepared to suffer like Christ. Over this last week, I hope as we've looked at Jonah, how he was asleep, how he needed to be woken up, how there was this great storm, how the sailors were in danger, but he had no compassion. He was spiritually asleep. God needed to wake him up. I hope we've all been convicted to a greater devotion to prayer and devotion to God's mission. I hope we all feel a, a sense of mourning maybe for our own lack of compassion and prayerfulness, for the church's lack of compassion and prayerfulness. We need to cry out for God to revive his church, to wake us up because this storm is raging amongst us. People are in danger and we need to stand up as the church we're called to be. Our world is in a storm, it's fallen. It needs an active church to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. Our own nation is in a storm. We have, yes, economic woes, political nonsense. Most severely though, we've fallen away from God. As a nation, we're throwing away our Christian inheritance. We're allowing the promotion of wickedness by wicked people. Do you see the storm of increased hatred for God's truth that is spreading in this nation? May this cause us to wake up and count the cost of following Jesus. Only as we humble ourselves, confess our need, seek a genuine work of the Spirit, will we see the revival that we want to see, but it starts in us. Jonah came to a place of Christ-like love. He tells them, pick me up, throw me into the sea. Do you see here this foreshadowing of Christ? As Christ laid down his life to save us, from the storm. So this world needs a church who loves enough to suffer for Christ, to pray and bring the gospel. God wants to remove our selfishness, our fear, our comfort seeking, our, our worldly ambitions. I know I'm full of all these things. He wants us to get to the point where, like Jonah, we can say, pick me up, throw me into the sea. When we are ready to die for the world, when we are, have become Christ-like, so we are ready to die for God, then we are truly ready to serve him in this world. Unlike Jonah, we have the benefit of seeing how Jesus has loved us on the cross. Initially, Jonah was not prepared to suffer for Nineveh because they were wicked. But we understand how Jesus has loved us in our sin. And it's this kind of sacrificial love that the Spirit wants to produce in you and me. Tim Keller wrote in The Prodigal Prophets, his book on Jonah, 
to the degree you grasp what Jesus did for you and rest in the salvation he bought for you. To that degree, this pattern of substitutionary sacrifice and love will be reproduced in your relationships and you will become the kind of person the world desperately needs. So in response, love like Christ. Let's be prepared to be thrown into the storm. Let's be prepared to sacrifice ourselves so that others can come to know peace. This is something that we need the Holy Spirit to do in us. We need to confess where we're at in this and pray for help and take practical action. Let's now take a moment to meditate and pray that we would do as Jesus commanded us. In John 13, 34 to 35, he says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. God bless you.